Market Hub. Buy, sell, list, connect. Hi guys, welcome to Real Talk. My name is Cornelia O'Dwyer. We are at the Foundry in Victoria Island. I'm about to join some friends for some drinks and some chit chat. Come with me. On today's episode, we have the bubbly host of The Gist, Toyosi Phillips, co-host of Studio 53, Ozzy Agu, and fitness expert and musician, Uzi Quendu. Let me go straight to, because I need my girl in this, you know, <laughs> okay. conversation. Okay. So how do you feel about successful women downplaying their success to sort of find a man? Because you know, in this Lagos that we're working with, the dating pool, <laughs> the market is down. <laughs> so. You are obviously su successful within uh, your own right. You're a New York girl. Yes, yes. <laughs> you have a good job. Yes. How do you sort of feel Try. about downplaying that success to sort of secure a man or a second date? So do you feel yeah. like you can date a guy? And I use this word very politely, sort of a couple of levels beneath you. So yeah. he has mm -hmm. potential, but he's not quite there yet. And maybe you can afford a Range Rover and or so, you know a, a brand new car and he yeah. can't he's maybe on the Honda Civic level. you know level. 2007 Camry oh. kind of level I don't wow. know eh. you've asked me like three questions now <laughs> 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 don't bombard you <laughs> first of all I think on the first date you should mm -hmm. be as modest as you can be mm -hmm. like I don't believe being bold and loud and talking about all my accomplishments on the first mm -hmm. date. So if I'm trying to, if I see this guy and I like him, like, mm -hmm. okay, we connect, we're laughing, we're talking, I'm not going to let him know I am, maybe if I was an MD somewhere, I'm not mm -hmm. going to let him know like, oh, I'm an MD or I'm this. If he says, what do you do? I work in a mm -hmm. something. Like, I'm not mm -hmm. going to say I'm the owner of this. Okay, something. so you're downplaying, you downplaying it. So I guess that's downplaying, down. yes. By the second date, third date, I have to know that you're comfortable with me mm -hmm. being as successful as I am. Mm -hmm. Now, to that second question, I honestly don't have a problem, and I should not even be saying this in public, mm -hmm. but I don't mind being the breadwinner of my home. Girl! I really <laughs> don't. Listen, me and you have completely different... <laughs> 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 I really that's don't. Big. I, that's big. Mm -hmm. That's huge. And this, please, that does not mean mechanics should not be... <laughs> calling me <laughs> no, no I'm not inviting oh God let me send the right person yes. but I really don't mind being mm -hmm. richer than my husband I'm right. going to still respect him as the head of the mm -hmm. house mm -hmm. and I'm just going to hope he has common sense to be comfortable with my level of level of success basically. okay so if yeah. he's not comfortable with it then that's no, where the lines exactly, kind of become blurry exactly. so how yeah. do you feel about that Ozzy would you date a, a lady who was significantly more successful and by successful I'm using financial success as the benchmark mm. I think it's great as long as you don't rub it in the man's face mm -hmm. I think both of you can you know grow together mm -hmm. see, that's, you see that's interesting because a lot yeah. of guys these days I don't know if you saw this Instagram post of <coughs> this guy ranting about a girl taking him to Mr. Biggs or something and I thinking, saw that. Yeah, <laughs> thinking that was like something <laughs> big yeah. so him saying like not rubbing it in you know the guy's face yeah. Uzi how do you feel about a girl offering to pay on a date well for me <laughs> I personally, I, I would love a woman that is strong and independent, successful. That actually turns me on and motivates me, you know. So the one thing I would actually say is, you know what? She can actually take care of our children if I'm not around. Mm -hmm. You know, so it's actually a good thing for me, you know. Um, as long as she's not rubbing it in my face, like he said, you know, it makes a lot of sense though. But sometimes you have to think about one thing. You got into it. I need you guys to help me define this rubbing it in. Exactly. You know, what does yeah, rubbing it in I can, I can your give face you a good mean? Example. Yeah, Perfect. give me an example Please. of rubbing like, it. Uh, I'm making more money than you. Boom. <laughs> <laughs> hey, that's both. Yeah, or, yeah, that's or, 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 or you <laughs> make a decision. Or you make a de people out there like that. Or you make a decision and she says, well, I'm making more money than you. Why are you making the decision? Yeah, because you're not the one paying for it. So I, 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 I agree with that. But, but she if, said. If, if it was, <sighs> and I, I don't know why that should bruise your ego, because if indeed it was about, for instance, maybe your child being able to go to a particular school okay. and mm -hmm. you agree that the, the higher price school was a better option for your child. Okay. You can maybe afford a lower price school, which is still a good standard. Okay. But she's saying, okay, I'll I'll supplement for our child to go to the better school. Mm. If you now start having, that's yeah, that's not rubbing it. That's the children. The children take precedence. Mm -hmm. I'm saying a situation like, hi, 
babes, you just dip your you dip your hand in your pocket. I'm like, ah, I just need to get that chewing gum and the <laughs> gum right now. But I just realized I left my money in the house. Do you have like ten naira? And it's like, why? Why are you asking me for ten naira? Why are you always asking me for ten, ten, ten naira? Why can't you, you just the always? No, 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 always okay. asking. No, 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 no. Okay, forget I said always. Forget the always. always. Exactly. exactly. Why are you asking me for ten naira? See, that's rubbing your face. Why are you asking for ten? Yes, I don't want my husband asking me for ten naira. Hold on, hold on. What about what? Every day, but it's just a chewing gum. It's just gum along the street. Like for small issues. My point is, little issues that you can be like, okay, you know how you go out with friends, right? Mm -hmm. And we have this, um, you know, you go out with friends, you have like, you have a great meal, mm -hmm. and then the check comes, okay. and then someone says, you know what, we're all friends, today is my turn, I'm Bam. paying for everybody, right. boom. Yeah. It was like, oh yeah. my yeah. God. Yeah. Yeah. It's like, yeah. So yeah. next time, someone else pays, boom. Mm -hmm. It's like, it's an understanding, it's exactly. an unwritten code, you know? Exactly. Okay. But exactly. if the bill comes, and I bring the paper, I'm like, well, me, I only had the uh, chicken shawarma, <laughs> and that's 20 to two, yeah. 1,005. Yeah. You, you had this, this and this and this and mm -hmm. this. I'm calling you out, Exactly. Man. I think that I find that um, most men find it easier to accept when it's like daddy's money. Whereas mm. when it's a woman who has actually worked to a particular level, mm. she's gone to good school, so it's expected of you to have a good job, yeah. and she can afford a premium economy or uh, a business class yeah. ticket. Yeah. Are you saying that it would be rubbing it in a man's face if she then took you know an economy seat just because i mean i probably would just because i wouldn't want him <coughs> to feel so you would fly out, economy, would fly economy with, your with your man, fly with your man. man. but i don't think a woman should apologize or if a woman decided to go business that she's necessarily bad or flaunting it in his face. No, no, no. Both of you can fly business. But a lot of people yeah, think that. Yeah. Both of you flying business. Exactly. Yeah, yeah, but you can't fly. afford it now. So yeah, I'm oh, so buy he his should. ticket. Exactly. Girl, okay, now, Robin, Robin in the face. Way. Robin in the face would be you, you yeah. staying at home. <laughs> That's not I my ideal. <laughs> That's not <laughs> my <laughs> ideal. Please. So you would buy his ticket? I would help I would help out with the ticket. And I come back to you because I think that women should marry should marry well. Right? Okay. Um, and you should sort of marry up. See ya. Let me be politically correct. You yeah. Hold on. Up. This is me <laughs> washing my right? hands. Right? Oh. <laughs> <laughs> so, I, oh, by marrying up, I mean oh. you're marrying yeah. somebody that is um, aspirational, somebody that may not even be there yet, but is wanting yes, to get that. there. Mm -hmm. By there, I mean eventually being able to afford premium accounting because. Look, yeah. It's not really about first class flights and everything. Mm -hmm. How do you feel about <laughs> marrying somebody who is not quite up? If okay, I the really, word. really, I really want whoever I marry to be comfortable with who I am. Mm -hmm. Like, it's not just about my finances, it's also about my personality. I think I'm very opinionated. So mm -hmm. I need somebody that can understand that. Like, okay, I'm going to be rolling with, I need somebody, somebody that can be comfortable with the crowd that I roll with. Because mm -hmm. very soon I'm to be rolling with people at the top. <laughs> 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 I don't come there and now see them Receive. and be afraid. Amen. Receive. Thank Take you, it. Lord. Yes, yes. yes. I had this friend, I think it was NYSC, I met her, yeah. she was married. And she used to give her husband her salary. Mm -hmm. Like mm. she says, I'm um, giving daddy or whatever. Like, right. ugh, I don't know. I think that's a cultural thing, though. So it's almost like it's a reverence. What culture? Thing. What culture? Mm. Well, I get it if my husband or partner is not there yet. So I get in that leaving your card so it seems as though he's, it's a male ego thing. And to be honest with like you, giving him everything, and then he now decides well, that's what happens to you. Oh, yeah, wow. No, that's a personal finance di dynamic. And I think that you have to talk about that when you start the relationship yeah, before you so go some people further, yeah. have the, yeah. the more responsible like partner like my mom. and then like my mother can <laughs> lie <laughs> I can lie I like my so money. if you guys decide that this is your joint income I can understand we can why have a joint people, account yeah but some people well maybe he just is more responsible so she just says here's my paycheck do maybe she gets an allowance that's fine if you from guys her agree. money yeah, yeah. yeah. Oh, wow. I mean if, if it's a partnership can I he's about to take time. over this <laughs> If you were making more than me, would you give me your what, pay? What definitely are we, what? not. Uh -huh. Definitely what? not. Definitely <laughs> Don't go. But that's, what, what I'm saying is that personalities <laughs> come into play. Exactly. That's yeah. another thing. thing. Yeah. You should, like, for instance, if I decide to supplement the fees, mm. right? Okay. Um, and a lot of guys have a problem with me saying this. I don't expect to do it from JS1 to SS3, mm. right? So by JS3, you should be okay. Mm -hmm. right? This is okay. when you marry a guy with potential. Mm. Is okay. My bae is holding it down, yeah. JS1, maybe JS2. Mm -hmm. But like JS3, come on now. Guys got to be able to take 
the whole thing mm. because mm. you aspire to do better and you see mm. us supposed to be growing in life. Exactly. Yeah, exactly. 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 Exactly
begin to talk nonsense and it will become, you know, it will be shame for you. Because when I do marriage, God say two will become one. Definitely, he must at least just make sure that he maintain that status quo. So I don't become one. So whatever he get, now you get them. Actually, I couldn't care less uh, because the money is there, you right. know. <laughs> so let's let's spend it together, you know. <laughs> but, <laughs> but, but, right. the is, no, <laughs> but the thing is, usually when two people come together, right, it would be perfect if all you did was marry each other. Mm. But then. It's, it's two families coming together as well. And then it's society coming out. And then it's your friend. Yeah. Real talk, ladies and gentlemen. <laughs> Real, yeah. Real talk. Real talk. I'm giving it to you how yes. you want it. Yes. Take it. Yes. Yes. And last but obviously not least. Ah, if we're dating, I would want him to know, like, this is, mm -hmm. this is me. This is who I am. This is what I have. Like, mm -hmm. this, this is me. Are you comfortable with it? Can you do? Don't come and tell me tomorrow to put off the big gem because it's me that bought the big gem and you bought the small gem. Don't tell me that nonsense. More like this is me. Right. But if we're now married and say we get married and then I now become mega successful, I may downplay for a while just right. to make him comfortable with the idea of me being more successful than he is right. and like pulling him up. Right. gradually but before marriage please just know that this is me and I'm not going to downplay I would not yeah that's what people call Yoruba sense <laughs> it is Yoruba sense okay. to sort of like you know even it out and sort of mm. not overpower the Balance man it's your best sense is pretty much an ego boosting campaign like yeah. you yeah. definitely go hard yeah. for yeah. like who well. me <laughs> i don't exist like it's all about you baby yeah. mm. like so yeah. i'm sure you would like that so i think wow. who everybody should. <laughs> that guy right there sure i think fine. most men should find your best sense and most women if you don't know what that is ask you could join the conversation by following us on twitter and instagram at ndani tv if you have a topic you would like us to discuss just use the hashtag ndani real talk until then see you next time not that i okay. think there's anything wrong with being shorter than me, mm -hmm. but I've never been attracted to one. I think about um, men have quite, you know, you guys have a bit of an ego. Mm -hmm. I don't like that I'm going out with a you man just because he's, he's smaller than me, sorry, shorter than me. <laughs> <laughs> hey, what's up, guys? They call me DJ Spinner, a.k.a. The Cap. You enjoyed the video you just watched? Please, please subscribe and Danny TV. Just click below and subscribe and you can watch more amazing videos.